Russia's military buildup along its border with Ukraine and in Belarus is continuing. President Joe Biden told reporters in Washington Tuesday, saying he is now ready to boost U.S. and NATO deterrence in Eastern Europe, but would not send U.S. troops to Ukraine. I made it clear to uh, early on to uh, President Putin that if he were to move into Ukraine, that there would be severe consequences, including significant economic sanctions, as well as I'd feel obliged to beef up our presence, NATO's presence in on the Eastern Front, Poland, Romania, etc. Asked if he would consider sanctioning Russian President Vladimir Putin personally, Biden said yes, he would. The United States, Britain, Australia and Germany have ordered the families of diplomats living in Kyiv to leave Ukraine. Some Ukrainian officials say the move was premature. We must remain calm today. We don't see in reality the situation that is being inflated in the media now. Asked if the U.S. agrees with Ukraine's assessment, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said this. Well, no one can get into the mind of President Putin uh, or Russian leadership. Uh, we all know that is the case. What we have seen is a range of preparations, including 100,000 troops at the border, bellicose rhetoric, and actions, as we've talked about in here, including fl false flag operations to try to spread misinformation uh, throughout uh, the region and even the world, uh, setting up the predicate for an invasion. On Monday, Biden said he had a very good meeting and that the U.S. is in complete unity with key European allies. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz welcomed French President Emmanuel Macron to Berlin Tuesday, and they agreed that Russia would face severe sanctions if it invades Ukraine. Macron said he would speak to Putin on Friday. The diplomatic efforts come as Russia is sending troops and military equipment to Belarus, worrying observers. Well, I think the, the troops in Belarus, uh, it's concerning. It certainly would position Russia better if they chose to go into Ukraine. Uh, hard to tell at this time if Putin is bluffing or trying to get what he wants without, you know, short of war. On Saturday, Russia's defense ministry published a video of Russian fighter jets taking off for Belarus to take part in joint drills in February. Russia says it is not planning to invade Ukraine, despite massing troops and equipment along the border and in Belarus, and is accusing the United States of escalating hostilities. Cindy Sane, VOA News.